Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jesus Star Killer here. This is the first of many gaming videos that I'll be doing. This video in particular is going to be a tutorial on how to use your Xbox 360 PS3 controller on games that don't have controller support. Let's go! Alright, we're going to get started here. As I said in the beginning, this program allows you to use your Xbox 360 uh, PS3 controller on games that don't have controller support. I will put the link in the info box there. And when you click on the link, it's going to bring you to this page here. You're going to click download this file. It's going to bring up a uh, little text box where you have to put in a little code. Once you do that, it should automatically download. If it doesn't, um, just refresh it. Do it again. When I first did it, it didn't download the first time. It's, uh, it's not messed up. You just have to refresh it. Do it again. Depending on where your downloads go, you're going to go there and you're going to see this zip folder. You're going to right click, extract all, it's going to have this folder here. Inside there's going to be another folder and inside that there's going to be a couple items there. I've moved them to where I want them to go. The items are going to be these three here. I think you're going to have two extra items. These were the most important. You're going to click on the X pattern here. If you're running Windows 7 or anything below that, the program's going to open fine, no problem. If you're running a Windows 8, 8.1, it's going to say it's not compatible. And uh, basically all you have to do is right click on it, hit troubleshoot compatibility. It's going to run this thing here. You're basically going to trick the program into thinking it's running on Windows 7. You're going to hit rec try recommended settings. It's, uh, it's going to bring up another window that says test the program. You're going to click on that. It's going to open the program. Um, XPatter has uh, a couple little pre-setting things that you have to just click next on and then you choose your language. Once you've done that you come back in here. You click next. It'll be around here. And then you want to save those settings so you don't have to keep doing this every time. Once you've done that you should have this here. It's going to look just like this. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go here. Mine's already there. Um, I believe yours should be too. Um, I can't really remember. If not, you just go to all and you basically want to find this file here and add it there. Once you've done that, you're going to click this button. You're going to go down to settings. It's going to open this window. You're basically going to put this picture here so you know where to adjust your buttons. So you're going to click open and there you go. You have your picture there. The next thing you're going to want to do is enable all your buttons. Um, you should do this push one just to make sure everything's running. I'm not going to because I've already done it so mine is all set up. You're going to move these little things here into their proper places. And then you're going to go to buttons. Um, it won't let me do it since I've already done it. Well, as you can see here. But um, basically what you do in that one window in this window here, you're going to click um, these missing buttons. So like you click X, it's going to bring up a a little box that looks like this um, randomly here and then you're going to move it to whatever you know button you want that to go to. And then once you've activated all your buttons, it's basically going to look like this. Um, as you can see here, I've already started this button. Um, you know, to move forward, typically on a game, it's W to walk forward. So, and you can, you know, do that with all the keys, you know. 
Uh, move right, move left, and then go back. And then basically when you move the joystick, it presses the keys to mimic the movement. And then when you're in the game, you're able to use the, com the controller. That's basically all there is to it. Um, it's the exact same uh, steps for the PS3. I just don't have a PS3 controller to show you, but it's the exact same thing. The only thing is you're going to want to go and um, search on Google, XPatter, um, PS3 image, and put that here instead. But there you go, guys. That's basically it. Um, the only other thing that I can think of is if you click these little this little uh, wrench button, you can go down to mouse settings and click on normal. And here, I put these to move together. And you can change the speed um, so that when you're turning in the game, you you know you turn however you are used to in your regular game. If you you're used to turning fast, you can make it go faster. If you're used to turning slower, you can make it turn slower. So that's the way to do it. Wrench key, mouse settings, normal, and then I put these to move together, and then you can choose your speed. Besides that, um, there's nothing else to it. Um, you could do this uh, over and over again and just save it for different games you see here. I have it saved for H1Z1. And uh, that's it. Um, I'm going to show you now what it looks like. Um, it basically, I mean, it's nothing really to it. It's just going to look like I'm operating the game with the controller here. But you'll see just how all these buttons move and how it mimics it in the game. Alright guys, as you can see here, I have the uh, x pattern open as well as H1Z1. So you can see how it works. Um, you're probably going to see some lag in the video. The program that I'm using right now to record both uh, the game H1Z1 and x pattern tends to uh, create some lag in the video. Uh, I'm not sure why, because I'm not lagging right now as I'm playing the game, but I did a test and I noticed that the video, uh, there was lag in the video. But um, as you can see, I'm using the controller in the game. What x pattern basically does is transfer the information from the controller uh, through the virtual keyboard to allow you to use the controller. And that's it guys. Uh, I'm pretty much done with this video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I tried to make it as detailed as possible. I'm pretty sure I covered everything, but just in case I missed something, uh, feel free to ask and uh, comment like the video, subscribe, and see you guys next time.